<clears throat> what is going on, brother? Yo, bro, bro, bro. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Are you in Germany or are you in some part of the world? <laughs> I li I literally settled back in Germany, like two Whoa. weeks. Ago. This man flies around the world like, I don't know. <laughs> Today he's in Greece, Santorini. Tomorrow he's in yeah. Germany. The next day he's in Ghana. The next day he's in... Bro, yeah, bro. let me just bro, introduce up? Obama. His AKA is Obama. <laughs> his, he oh, is my nice. colleague. My colleague from University of Ghana Business School. We studied accounting and then he fed it. After he fed it, his masters i don't i do not particularly know of which cause or, or of study he decided to pursue in. would you would you mind bro mm -hmm. telling me a little bit about what you decided mm -hmm. to feather in also i did i did basic um basic international but i focused on financial management you said you did basic what i did ma in um, international business but i focused on financial management exactly exactly so 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 um that that pretty much means that you are somewhat very extremely relevant when it comes to um these um financial world world of trading yeah yeah i i mean i haven't I haven't been doing mainstream trading in a while yeah but yeah I, i've just been involved in like um like hedge funds and you know, equity stuff more. Yeah. yeah, just just been involved in stuff like that more. But I see you. Think, you yeah, and I watched you your see. watched your YouTube video. Um, I think a couple of days ago. You're killing it. Are you in Nigeria now? Yeah, I am in Nigeria at the moment. Great, 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 great. I, I need to tour. I need to tour the African countries. Yeah, you, you definitely need to, bro. You need to. You need to like. We need to basically like plan it out. If it's like yeah, some yeah. one time tour. All around South Africa on my on my list that I have, I think Kenya on my list. I've got Kenya on my list as well, pretty close, probably in June or July. Oh, in summer, that's great. Yeah, yeah. If if you have the spare time, we could do that as well. Yeah, I want to come back to Ghana in August, so I don't know. Maybe before then we can do a trip. Then I stop by in Ghana. Definitely, definitely yeah. down down for it. And do it. But trip. but what i want why i invited you on this live session because okay. i mean i've also watched your your deliveries yeah. um your thesis so many stuff that you show these white look this man you're watching it literally teaches the white. i think in your class you were probably the only black <laughs> there <laughs> am i wrong <laughs> in his class he was probably the only black there am i kidding as 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 like um, amongst four black guys okay think, that's big, four big yeah. guys like four in the four. class Four out of how many? Out, out of how many students? Out, out, out of a lot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> In the class, right? this guy is a smarty, right? So but somebody uh, has just... a crack at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in a crack at me as well. Right. So, um, when it comes to the world of finance, right? Do you think it is just enough for? Um, a regular person to think that they can draw lines on the chart and then that is going to be like that life go to millionaire billionaire no 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 i mean i feel like everything you decide to do whether finance anything in life you got to be like consistent you need to first of all be consistent and believe in whatever you're doing so after you have acquired certain skills in a particular field so with regards to trading after you've acquired a particular skill you've decided on a particular strategy you need to try and stay consistent especially when you realize that that particular strategy is relevant for your profit making you don't necessarily have to um always hit the blues but like necessarily you need to make sure you're not making too much losses. So once you, you're able to grab your niche and realize that, okay, this strategy works for me, you stay consistent and you try not to make or take too much risk. It will be so is it enough for somebody that knows how to um, draw lines to be able to manage an asset 
uh, under management of per se um, um, 10 million, 20 million dollars. Wait, take the question again. Is it possible for... Is it, is it just enough for somebody to see just because it can be able to draw lines and know when... Oh, no, um... no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> No way, no way, no way. <laughs> okay, I mean, throw us a little bit into diversification. Yeah, if you remember when when I was in Ghana, I hit you up. I even wanted to meet up because yeah, what you, yeah. what you respect is what you need to respect is there's always somebody ahead of you, or there's always somebody who you can look up to as a mentor. Definitely. You can, you can, you can, you can actually be good at a lot of things, but there are people who are better at what you want to do. And Definitely. so trading, when I, came, when I came to Ghana and I was like, okay, I think I've been doing a little bit of trading. Let me look for Kojo Forex. Because I, I think and I know that when it comes to trading, you are way better than I am. So you need to understand and realize that somebody, just the realization is enough for you to make it, you know, because it allows you to submit yourself under the person's tutelage or submit yourself under the person's guidance. And you can actually tap into certain like information. This world is run by information. And so, first of all, simple as that. Because you learn one or two things, you don't just you know set up your room and decide, oh, now I'm a trader. No, no fucking way. <laughs> and listen, look, you see, you see the supplications you just made. When okay. it also comes to real um, investment diversification, portfolio management, definitely, I know that you have an upper knowledge. Than yeah. that, than me. Yes, I may be good with my technicals. I still have a little bit of my my um, um, pre finance knowledge and accounting knowledge to know basic diversification and then investment portfolio. But yeah. you literally did it as a master's career. Yeah. You understand me? So that aspect is also something that I have to like salute you when it comes to that aspect. But yes, I may as much as possible be good in technicals and the know-hows and then applying still the pre-knowledge we had from finance. So at the end of the day, what I'm just trying to say is that it goes hand in hand. You understand me? But do you think that I would now just say that, ah, ask me, could you first, I'm ready to run a hedge fund of $50 million. Oh. Never. Never. Oh, yeah, that's... that's, that's you understand? You understand that? Yeah. But yeah. if you and I are now partners and i say we are ready to run a 50 million dollar hedge fund we fucking will run it today is that a truth or, or wrong that's that's what people don't realize um especially from the part of the world that we are from people don't believe in partnership people don't believe in um the the skill set that other people have and so you try and you try and be good at another thing when you don't necessarily even have to do it you just need to employ the the relevant skills of another person exactly that's as simple as that, I think. And people don't want to pay for <laughs> pay for the work. <laughs> no, it's more freebies too much. Yes, you know? someone yes. is someone is not necessarily. Um, you don't even necessarily have to what have to expect much from somebody, or you don't even necessarily have to demand much. From but when you realize that the person is worth this much, you you know you give it to the person. As simple as that. <laughs> you see. One of the main reasons why I, I, I kind of was um, still pursu pursuing to get you on this live session was to bring a little bit of differentiation and make people understand that, like, uh, as far as we may just be on the social media side of trading, right, yeah. it is typically an academia thing, is it or is it not? Yeah, I mean, I feel like the, 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 the little things that we picked up from school, from classes, from everyday life, that's what we use entirely in, you know, in our continuity. And so the learning process doesn't stop. Sometimes I go on um, Clubhouse and listen to conversations on Bitcoin and what I just need to listen to what people are saying in China, in Spain, certain places. And... Trust me, you you have no idea because all these <laughs> things they trigger the markets. All these things they trigger how people think. All these things they trigger how people move. And so learning doesn't stop. And so just be ready all the time to listen to somebody's opinion on issues. Be ready to listen to people's like um, like yesterday. I think yesterday yesterday um, this guy just tweeted and that was it for Dogecoin. 
Elon Musk just tweeted about Dogecoin and that was it. People are actually going through <laughs> have breaks with regard to what Bitcoin falls and stuff like that. Oh, because of information, just just be willing to listen to what people say, be willing to listen to what people have to, you know, contribute with regards to a particular subject matter and you should be fine. You know, you should be fine. I don't hide yourself around kind of that. So I'm doing it just like how I want to do it. It's just unfortunate that I didn't even meet you when I came together, but I really wanted to. I really, really wanted to. But let's see. I'm probably going to do a specific, a specific trip to just come see you. Definitely, definitely. I mean, we're always down. Definitely, we would have that point in time where our schedules are literally at par for us to have like that proper proper yeah. meetup and then thorough discussion going into asset management running funds and then doing like bigger things and in that part of the world right <laughs> but uh, like why why I'm, I'm just hammering and then hammering on this is that you remember Keck like, from, you remember Keck from um, UGBS Keck yeah 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 yeah, yeah Keck yeah big up big ups to Keck bro oh he's on oh he's <laughs> I see him I see him <laughs> what's good bro so i'm saying that like um you see there's there, there are several um lots probably like ten thousands of um average retail traders right that yeah. follows me right on social media yeah right people that literally for various reasons are endeavoring into trading perhaps they may be inspired by my lifestyle perhaps they are unemployed and they want to get into trading as a as a means of um what was yeah. it escape route from from unemployment or perhaps um a quick cash out means they, they had you can literally jump into forex and make the make next big thing <laughs> right <clears throat> as far as um it, it may have a little bit of um, truth onto it because I, I mean you can still run into forex and then escape um unemployment or you could still run into forex and be fortunate and make some cash out right but career wise right and then long term wise right career wise long term wise and then put it into that 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 futuristic perspective of becoming that next big thing is it just enough to just be stuck with your screen and then drawing lines just because you can be able to identify can you make a, a whole long-term career and call yourself an asset manager an investment manager investment banker or portfolio manager just because you learned that basic retail level of knowledge for oh. making quick cash oh so um so personally personally i could say this on life personally it's been it's been let's say close to seven weeks since i did anything trading because I, I literally just came back from vacation from Ghana and I've been I've been doing a few projects out here. So so let's say my whole life was built on trading. The work yeah. in the seven seven weeks, you understand. And let's even say I've been I, I trade every single week. When you make that money, what do you do with the money? So there's more to there's more to life than just drawing lines. <laughs> but yes, let's say let's say you, you you do you, you you put in you put in something now and you're cashing out let's say what 50k 70k what's next are you going to push back the money into your next thing or are you going to reinvest back into trading what are you going to do with the money so i feel like life is bigger than you know drawing lines understanding the charts knowing your strategies knowing when to go in when to come out knowing all these things no that there, there's more to life than that else you can actually be making the money and losing it in real exactly. life so exactly. it's not, it's just it's not just about trading you sometimes I, I put a pause to everything i do and enjoy life is that why i see me travel sometimes i put a pause to even traveling and just have my own time because you get so you get so engulfed in making money making money and you lose certain things about your life like your family relationship you know, and these things, if you don't, if you take them for granted, <laughs> they will take you for granted, just like your strategies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because you can, you cannot, you cannot go into the market with an unclear mind. You have family mm -hmm. issues. You have 
relationship issues and you sit behind the computer and you try to make a trade or make a move, it will be a wrong move. So life life is bigger than just drawing the lines, understanding the charts and knowing when to go in and when to come out. And yeah, life is way bigger than that. Especially especially because of COVID. <laughs> After COVID, we, we realized that life is way, way, way bigger than than we think, you understand? So I think progressively, we need to put that into consideration. I really appreciate your short intellectual conversation with me. I mean, a lot of people have learned just a little bit. I mean, this is even literally an impromptu thing because I kind of saw you join my, the live session. I'm like, okay. Um, so yeah. many people... Tell you come alive. Come again? I was in the train when I saw you come alive. Man. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 the like, the, the just a simple reason to why I just wanted you to join this live session was um just so many submissions and then tags and stuff like that on social media that just um, has a lot of people entangled into that retail knowledge. And then when you're trying to do something different that um the regular person do not understand then they feel like uh, it's a norm everybody is doing it this way why is it that uh, you, you, long time we're not hearing from you still doing it the old way forgetting that at the at the bigger realm of things there, there's more to learn you know what i mean more to more to understand more to more to be open to before you can be, even seek to reach the next level right so why why i invited you onto the live session was to just submit that intellectual knowledge which you've which you've literally just done perfectly can you hear me no i can't hear you again unfortunately i can't hear him If you can text. All right. So unfortunately, he had to leave because connectivity issues and stuff like that. Right. This is just a reminder for a lot of y'all that think that you know sometimes sometimes maybe these times i need to be doing that inviting my colleagues who are in like high high places right just to come and you know flare up things for you for you guys to understand that my my, my dream in trading is just not to be the next could you first cannot blues and then just blah 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 catching that, making noise, I caught 15 pips in my community, 30 pips in my community, 100 pips, everybody, I'll be on bon Jimmy. So I, I'm, I'm matured than that level. I am a fucking brilla. I've always been a fucking brilla, right? My colleague that I invited, he's also always been a fucking brilla in his, in his, in his endeavors, right? So we have like bigger dreams, bigger goals, but everybody has got to always do the best out of their current endeavors before they can be able to elevate themselves especially for uh uh um uh well i do, is it proper to even use um background seek right for lack of proper words our uh, background seek right perhaps if i ever was kennedy japan son or if my my my, my elder brother was cheddar or, or or any of these big guys we know it would have been pretty much easy for me to lay down my plans. You, I want to do my master's in this and this and this and this and come back and open this hedge fund in this Ghana trading floor, recruit um, um, all these big guys and say, yeah, we want to trade and start managing. But life doesn't just present itself that way. Sometimes you got to go down in order to come up, right? That's why some of us decide to choose this retail aspect of, of, of trading, right? Perhaps I would have never been on the redo aspect of trade. I've had offers from um, uh, Cow Bank. I've had uh, offers from um, um, what's this other bank's name? Um, um, Barclays Bank as well, right? From Dr. Lord Mensa. Anybody that 
went to business in University of Ghana Business School knows Dr. Lord Minsa and then they know that he's my uncle right he literally put somebody in replacement just because I denied that offer because I saw myself in a in a bigger space than just being under that that perspective I had a bigger goals for myself drawn for myself than just being um in quotes and that that employee tag right it would have just crumpled majority of my personal goals my personal aspirations but indeed it was also giving me um a pinch of experience working in that corporate environment but time and balancing of events was not in my favor and i had to turn out that that opportunity right so i've done a lot of talking a lot of applications a lot of invites do not categorize me as part of your basic hungry motherfucking people that you see on all these instagram live all these especially all these little kids and boys and girls everywhere on the forex market and they're making noise showing stupid things and say is it because we are not showing off this this do not fucking tag me and then mention me or send me screenshots and all those things because they, they are like it it's it, it's it's it, it, it makes me want to throw up when i see this thing like i'm like what the fuck right we 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 matured past that level that's not what we're looking at that's that's your thing is not like <laughs> jesus christ you know <laughs> <laughs> like, you got to deal with this kind of things, right? Sometimes you just got to deal with this and then admit and accept this kind of things on your way and then just overlook them, right? Because sometimes the more I touch on them, the more I give that free um um free advertisement or attention to non entities, right? I basically underline the word non-entities because like you do not necessarily you're not relevant you're not relevant in 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 the market to me in your perspective in the market is not really relevant you're not anywhere you're you're not close to anything in the market but you have loud mouth just because you have loud mouth then you just want to just talk 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 say shit because you have a smartphone and then you can be able to post anything nobody is going to question you for it then you think that you can just blab right let me put them on a little conversation with the, with any of my colleagues and see if they can be able to talk one thing out of um, diversification one thing out of portfolio management right one thing out of hedging one thing one common thing out of hedging none all you know is support resistance uh a uh, trend line uh, range and then somebody fucking lies them about lies to them about uh, uh institutional candles and then blah 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 and say this is it, it uh, was it all this kind of shit right and say you know do you know do you know what institutional institutional candle let me not let me not even go into that aspect now right say uh, this i'm able, i'm able to identify the other block other block do you know what you are calling other block other block that you have to you have to use your eyes to watch different time frame before you can identify one and if it doesn't meet your supplication you say that's not the other block are you sensible at all if you watch it in the 1 hour 4 uh, hour no it doesn't fit it if you watch it in 2 hour no if you watch it in 30 minutes yes this fits the other block so 30 minutes other block then you range it and see the market is going to come there and then reverse maybe i'm speaking too much deep things so it's not really making sense but eventually it makes sense to the people that are in that kind of line right <laughs> i know popular delusion and madness of a crowd that's a that's a deep thing to know anyway i'm going to end today's conversation here there's a lot already for people to soak in and i'm going to save this live video for you guys to have the opportunity to go back and watch and the strategy that I thought the breakout and then the channel and the stuff like that play it and play it and play it if that's what you're always excited about just make the most out of it right but i'm saying and on quote and on quote do not involve me in any basic regular shit i am past that i am not somebody that is involved in jails 
regular bullshit. Tell your regular people that look, do not play with Kojo. He is matured, intellectually matured than your basic this bullshit, right? <laughs> That's the end of it. Thank you all for your maximum time for staying on this live, and I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs>